So approximately 20% of adults have GERD in the Western world. And GERD stands for gastroesophageal reflex disease. Symptoms can occur daily in approximately 7% of patients, weekly in 14%, and monthly in about 15 to 40% of all patients. Acid blocking meds, also known as PPIs, like Nexium, Prilosec, etc., are one of the most prescribed medications in the United States. And chances of developing GERD increase after the age of 40. Many patients are offered antacids as a simple solution, but the problem is that antacids are not a long-term health solution. So let's discuss some of the reasons for GERD. Number one is an impaired lower esophageal sphincter function. The esophageal sphincter serves as a reflux barrier at the gastroesophageal junction, preventing acid from the stomach from entering the esophageal Yes. Esophagus is just your throat and of course the stomach and then the sphincter is what keeps the food down. But for those with GERD, the pressure of the sphincter is reduced. Second reason is hiatal hernia. Hiatal hernia is common and typically doesn't cause symptoms. For patients with GERD though, it increases the likelihood of symptoms. Third reason is the abnormal esophageal clearance. Our digestive tract is considered a smooth muscle, which moves food down from the esophagus to stomach, to small intestine, large intestine, and finally out of the body through the rectum. Patients with GERD have abnormal peristalsis, the contraction and relaxation of the muscles of the intestine, negatively affecting the food and preventing passage through the digestive tract. So what are some of the causes of GERD? Well, it's processed fried foods, spicy foods, acidic foods like citrus and tomatoes, alcohol, caffeine, smoking, eating too close to bedtime, stress can do it, obesity, magnesium deficiency, food sensitivities, SIBO, small intestinal bowel overgrowth, H. pylori infection, and lack of hydrochloric acid. Some functional treatments for GERD is to improve your diet. Avoid acidic foods like citrus, tomatoes, and fried foods. Second is to try the elimination diet to avoid inflammatory foods such as gluten and dairy, among other foods. Third is to avoid stimulants, refraining from alcohol, caffeine, and smoking. Fourth is to change your lifestyle. Practice yoga, avoid eating three hours before bed, apply intermittent fasting, eat mindfully, and chew slowly. Five is to take supplements, take probiotics, and DGI is known to be very effective. It's deglycerized licorice, which helps to coat the stomach and prevent reflux. Glutamine, which helps to heal the gut and digestive enzymes to support the enzymes to break down the food. And of course, hydrochloric acid, also known as betaine tablets, to help break down as well. And zinc, kerosene, and magnesium can be extremely helpful. If you're not getting better and or GERD is a chronic problem where you've been on PPIs for a long time, which is about over five years, it may take a while before things get better because your body has to readapt to this new state of being. And if the symptoms do not improve with just conservative care, you can get tested for H. pylori, celiac or gluten sensitivity, and also SIBO, small intestinal, bowel overgrowth. We can help you get to the root of your symptoms and help you to improve your health. We offer energy balancing, functional medicine evaluation, nutrition therapy, yoga therapy, and supplement prescription and transcutaneous vagal nerve stimulation. We want to hear from you also. So do you have GERD? Have you dealt with the symptoms? For more information or to set up a consult, call us at 678-335-5566. As always, please subscribe to our newsletter on alkalinewellness.com and our YouTube channel, Dr. Connie Jian. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Alkaline Wellness. See you guys next time.